terms of continuity, I think United have had a slightly easier pre-season because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has already been in charge of the club. He's obviously been able to bring in Aaron Rambisaka quite early on, uh, Daniel James. Um, so they've done a bit of transfer business early on. But for Chelsea, it's interesting. You know, Frank Lampard, he's so young in his managerial career. He's come into a club where he knows what to expect. He can't sign anyone. So he's had a really good look at the players that he's brought back from loan. And both clubs have actually had pretty good pre-seasons. So um, it's going to be an interesting game. I think it's hard to say who's had the better pre-season, but certainly United have had a bit more of a settled pre-season because they've had Solskjaer in from six months earlier. I think the transfer ban has been a blessing in disguise for Lampard because the expectations are now lower on him to do as well as perhaps other managers have been under pressure to do at Chelsea because, you know, he can't sign anyone. So he's had to look to within the sort of the ranks, really, um, for, for talent and you know you see Mason Mount he's really impressed in pre-season Tammy Abraham now has a chance to show that he deserves to be at Chelsea and be in that first team they've had a good look at the players that they've had out and I think Kurt Zuma's coming back and I think a lot of the players have really responded well to the fact that this is their chance now to be in, in Chelsea's first team something which a lot of the players probably would not have had had they not had that transfer ban so I think it's a blessing in disguise for for Frank Lampard because if he doesn't do as well as, as people and I'm sure himself would hope he does they can always say, well, actually, we couldn't sign anyone. Everyone has uh, recruited strongly this summer. So, yeah, it's a blessing to try the fake for him. I think it's there for the taking for those two clubs. For Chelsea, I mean, Olivier Giroud said it. He said, you know, Frank Lampard needs to be competitive, regardless of the fact that he's a club legend. He needs to get off to a really good start. Um, I think everything feels like it's all positive at Chelsea at the moment. Everyone seems to be on the right page. The fans are behind Lampard. The club is behind Lampard. The players themselves, they're all behind Lampard. They don't want to fail for a club legend. But I think it's going to be a tight race in the top four. I think Tottenham will take the other spot. But that fourth spot, I think it's going to be a race down to the wire.